Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal, a market analyst at CFTs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for trading session the uh, <clears throat> Wednesday, the 8th of November, 2017. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com, and you can certainly uh, download the apps at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's see where we are in terms of the uh, market structure at present then. Uh, in terms of the U.S. markets yesterday, certainly experiencing weakness in the U.S. Uh, we had the Nasdaq finishing lower, and the S&P finishing slightly lower as well, and the Dow, uh, Dow certainly flat. In terms of uh, European markets today, then we've uh, certainly started off weaker uh, on the DAX and the, uh, the CAC and the IBEX. So European markets certainly experiencing that weakness. We have had the Euro uh, recover back up to 1.16. Certainly has retraced there. The dollar is certainly uh, uh, depreciating. Uh, a lot of concerns, I think, at present. Um, we have number one tax concerns whether or not they'll go ahead. Uh, certain doubts being raised there um, with regards to the tax cuts being potentially phased in or even potentially postponed till next year and whether or not they'll pass. We have Mr. Trump in Asia threatening North Korea again. So, again, that certainly is another factor that's uh, affecting the markets at the moment. We have the situation in Saudi, although it hasn't affected the markets on Monday. It certainly seems to have uh, had had some effect yesterday. Okay, so that's the status quo there. Um, the FTSE 100 did today as well. We've had the uh, UK uh, politics, uh, political uncertainty as well with regards to uh, May's cabinet potentially losing another member uh, at, the, at present. So again, that's another factor as well. Chinese data certainly came in on the weaker side overnight uh, too. So again, cause for concern there to a large extent. But I, from my perspective, it certainly is baked in, especially into the European markets at this juncture, and certainly looking to potentially squeeze higher. Okay, uh, in terms of the economic calendar, really, it's uh, French data that came in slightly better than expected in terms of exports and imports. Uh, overall, uh, Spanish data certainly came in stronger than expected as well. Uh, in terms of the rest of the day, it's really the RBNZ really that we're going to look forward to in the evening. Uh, with regards to their rate statement and their potential next moves, that's certainly something to factor in. The U.S. mortgage applications, Canadian data as well in terms of housing, and, and that really is it. Okay, nothing really major on the docket in terms of market moving. So let's look at the technical picture then. Uh, at present, let's start off with the German DAX. German DAX certainly experiencing weakness here. Given the fact that Mr. Draghi did say QE will obviously easier for longer, uh, bear that in mind as well with regards to uh, Draghi. Uh, so European markets certainly... Or help from that perspective. So again, <clears throat> QE is postponed. Now we have had potential. Uh... Okay, German DAX certainly putting a bearish engulfing candle yesterday. Certainly seeing weakness as well. Continuing today, 60-minute chart. You can see we've certainly flushed lower. From my perspective, given the fact that the daily chart still remains bullish, weekly chart as you can see as well still maintaining its bullish stance. It's just an inside bar at the moment, and the bullish run certainly can continue. 60 minute chart we are coming up to this uh, potential gap higher level so this this level here historically has um, has certainly come into uh, will certainly come into play here now at 1360 so bear that in mind you have the unfilled gap below at 13 uh, we have 13 to 30 so again that certainly is a factor and then another gap at 13130 so has been quite an impressive sell off though from 13500 now down to 133 so almost 200 point uh, drop okay let's see whether that will continue uh, in terms of the German DAX. Moving on to the 10-minute chart, at the moment German DAX, I'm certainly expecting this uh, falling contracting wedge type pattern, certainly looking for a potential short squeeze here on the German DAX, okay. Uh, again, this is a key level, so, so again, looking for a potential pop up to 13,420, possibly. US equity still at the lofty heights, regardless. So NASDAQ certainly is being helped as well to a large extent, so therefore looking for a bounce there. In terms of the French CAC, let's look at the French CAC. So French CAC certainly has more or less closed its gap, Okay, <clears> HNS <throat> target is still 5440, though, so bear that in mind. You have the unfilled gap at around 3455, <clears throat> and therefore you are looking for a potential pop in this region. So don't be surprised if we short squeeze higher from here on the French CAC going forward. Okay, <clears throat> moving on to the daily chart there of the French CAC, still maintain bullish stance for the breakout. Really, it's just a gap fill, and certainly will be a buying opportunity for many. 10 minute chart at the moment on the French CAC. <clears throat> Again, your gap fill level is 5455. Okay, so don't be surprised if that level is hit. Okay, then the market bounces. So that's really what I'm expecting at the moment. Okay, in terms of the uh, the actual uh, 
French CAC at present. So certainly yeah, but an area of uh, potential uh, support. Uh, again, resistance is seen at 5475 and then 5500. So they are the two zones to watch out for in terms of the French CAC. Moving on to the FTSE 100 now. FTSE 100 certainly expecting a bounce. I was expecting a bounce from this region here. Uh, the pivot low there was 57507. You have a lot of support in this zone. Uh, you do have political uncertainty really to contend with, so that certainly is something to take, to take into consideration for the uh, FTSE 100. Uh, but nevertheless, certainly looking for a potential bounce here, uh, looking for a pop up to uh, 7525, 7535. That's the zone that I'd be looking at, okay, in terms of the FTSE 100. Certainly looking for a move higher there. Okay, so that's the uh, zone uh, in terms of support. We certainly have support now at 7508, so watch out for that as well. Okay, so I think that's a good summation, really, of European indices. Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and download the latest app at Trade Signal. Goodbye now.